Hi, I'm Tom with Integrated Equine Therapies. Today I'd like to show you a very provocative, common problem in horses that's super underdiagnosed and missed and causes all kinds of systemic problems in a horse. This is Jag, and he's coming. Actually, the biggest issue is he has some issues in the rear end with some musculature. And we found that it's a long way from what I'm going to talk about in a sense, but it isn't. He has a lot of neuro stuff back here, and the real cause is a diaphragm problem. So diaphragm, mark my words, is one of the biggest problems in horses. Biggest for lameness, biggest for metabolic, biggest for colic, biggest for impulsion, all of that. So diaphragms go into spasm from a variety of sources. They can do it from worms. The most common probably is what I call a Mustang syndrome where they run into something that doesn't move. Not a kick so much, but a wall, a tree, the ground. And what happens is they accordion themselves and they put this in spasm. In his case, however, we do see some of that, but what we just saw, we just resolved, was C5 and C6 on this side, the right side. And that is on this side as well, but his is out on the right. Phrenic nerve innervates the diaphragm. Here's the diaphragm right here. And so if that nerve in the neck's out right there, and it's in play, and his is, that diaphragm goes in spasm. So you say, so what? Today what I want to show you is one of the big problems, collateral problems of a diaphragm spasm. And it is caused from different reasons. But once you have a diaphragm spasm, I can give you a whole list of issues. Here's one of the biggies to be concerned about. And it will change some of your thinking. It certainly is not in alignment with what veterinary science will say or what other, or what other um, professional avenues say. And then the number one cause of a stomach ulcer is a diaphragm spasm. It is not sitting them in the stall, the wrong food, the lack of food, the acid thing. That's all part of it. Those are all accelerators. The number one cause of a stomach ulcer is a mechanical esophageal hiatus rotation. It's right dead center at T12-ish, about this level down, and that's where the esophagus goes through the diaphragm, and that's where the diaphragm literally torsions the esophagus. When it does that, with the vagus nerve, it sets it up for all kinds of acid problems and everything else. So how do I know that? Well, one, the diaphragm is coming from here to here. In this case, his is out on the right. And that diaphragm inserts underneath the lumbar spine. It's one of the core muscles. One way to find that is go slightly out the diaphragm, push in, I mean, out the lumbar spine, push in and pull. And that, they should not react at all. On this side, he doesn't really care. That side, I know he had a right diaphragm. Then, there's other things going on, but here's where the stomach lies. Chinese association points to the stomach, that's hot. That's real hot. The stomach sits here, osteopathically, any organ in spasm will radiate tension and adhesions, spasms, way beyond its border. So here's where the stomach is. If I just flinch that, that's hot. In addition, T12 will be out. There will be no way for him to lift. He will be backed in here. So if I try to lift this, I'll get a little bit. He's, he don't like it, and nothing's lifting here. I'm really pushing. So let's clear this. So to clear that, osteopathically, I go into the tissue. Our hands can go in and engage tissue anywhere in the body with precision. And I'm using my left hand on the heart to engage venous vasculature. So what I want Jag to do, he's going to move around because I'm now just getting there. Take an elevator ride to the diaphragm. This is something that is learnable, teachable to anybody who has the desire. Not This is more advanced, but it's there. So now I'm going to add tissue. And what's going on is that whole stomach has been pulled and torsioned. So it's going to want to come back towards the head or cranial. So this, there's one. I'm feeling in my hand these sudden releases. If they release all at once, the horse goes to the ground. I don't want that. So here comes another one. There was a big one there. And you saw it radiate to the shoulder. And he probably needs to move a little. Normally I have moved. Uh, and I don't know if you saw it, but I think we're starting to see a rise here in the spine as it's not being compressed. Here we go. Ready, bud? Okay. 
So now what I want to do is just check it one more time because I want to make sure I have the full extent of this. I feel like I got a little bit on the right, which is where it's torsion the most. It would be nice to ultrasound this, but I know exactly what's going on. One more. This is a pretty good one, by the way. Uh, a horse that was prone to ulcers, he would have a gem of an ulcer. This horse is fed well, is moving around well, he's not, he's not cooped up all the time. He doesn't tend to have the propensity for a real bad one. Okay, I'll wait. One more, buddy. And it's right there. I feel it on the right. So there's one more little niche to this. Probably where that phrenic nerve is, huh, Jack? He's agitated as hell. There. Okay, let's test. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. I'm going to take you off this. So now T12, if that was to even to be successful chiropractically, it would be tough before. Now, just the move, it's simple, and it will hold. Before, it would have came back by the time I left the branch. So T12 is here. It's be out this way. I'm going to left shape him just a little. He's going to move around. And it hurts. There, that a boy. Got it. okay. Let's go. There it went. So it was real simple to put T12 in. So now let's test this to see what changes we have. That a boy. Okay. Chinese point stomach. Clear. The stomach itself is it still agitated? No. Is T12 open? Yes. <laughs> So that's an example that I do, I don't know, three, four, five times a week. These are super common. This is part of the problem, but a big part. So number one cause of stomach ulcers, diaphragm. Thank you. If you want to learn more about how to do this, check me out at integratedequinetherapies.com. I think that might work. That'll work. That was really good because you saw it.